Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. Okay, so we've seen what's been happening in the media, obviously. A whole lot of faux moral outrage, feigning of outrage. It's the worst thing to ever happen. A comedian made a joke about the island of Puerto Rico. Wow, the biggest scandal in political history. Nobody's gonna vote for Donald Trump now, and especially not those Puerto Ricans. That's the narrative that leftoids are attempting to paint here. But what a freaking insult that is. I mean, let me just draw from, you know, a personal place right now. Let's just say, hypothetically, Kamala Harris did a rally. And this rally, for the most part, 99% of it, 99.9% .9 of it, was just about uplifting the American spirit and painting this beautiful ambition for what the country could be. But then there was one comedian, kind of mostly disconnected from the campaign, who made a joke about Greece. I'm half Greek, of course, my father's Greek. And there was a joke made about the nation. What would my reaction be? And let's say it was a horrible joke and it was just bad faith, mean-spirited, right? Let's say it was the worst joke ever made. Am I gonna sit here and start crying and then attribute that joke to Kamala Harris and then switch my vote and all of a sudden support communism, big government collusion and censorship? the end of constitutional rights as we know it? No, of course not. I mean, how insulting is that? There was a joke made about Puerto Rico. Oh, Puerto Ricans, you better change your political philosophy now and support us, the people who have made your life objectively worse over the last four years. What a complete farce. What an insult to people's intelligence. And Democrats, of course, were hoping that this was going to work, that this shallow nonsense, this ridiculous moral grandstanding campaign using every Puerto Rican celebrity you could imagine, that this was going to have a serious impact on who Puerto Ricans were going to vote for, but I don't think that's the case at all. I don't think that's going to happen at all. And I got some evidence to suggest that that's exactly the case. Puerto Rican Trump supporters aren't ditching Trump because of a stupid joke that Tony Hinchcliffe made. A man who, by the way, has never had any connection to the Trump campaign, was just a comedian who happens to support Trump and he was invited to perform, considering he's a world-famous comedian. No, quite to the contrary. Let me show you guys exactly what's happening. We got some stuff to get into, so let's Roll the tape. All right, folks, so the way we've heard it, at least according to the mainstream media, there's been a widespread ditching of Donald Trump. Yeah, those Trump supporters that were for him, no longer is that the case. Yeah, well, tell that to this Puerto Rican Trump rally caravan. I, I, I want to vote for Donald Trump. Yeah, I don't know about you guys, but it doesn't seem to be having too much of an effect. Again, it's a bunch of media, blah, blah, blah. This thing is certainly happening. Hashtag Republicans for Harris. But it's another media manufactured lie. It's not actually happening. And it's no surprise why. Because people don't generally tend to associate jokes with reality, first of all. And secondly, statements made by comedians during political rallies as official statements and stances by the candidate themselves. I mean, how utterly ridiculous. Donald Trump's already addressed this faux scandal, and yeah, I think pretty much most people accept this explanation. Uh, I was told and made aware that you had no idea about this comedian who made comments. I still have, I have no idea who he is. Somebody said there was a comedian that joked about Puerto Rico or something, and I have no idea who he was. Never saw him, never heard of him and don't want to hear of them, but I have no idea. They put a comedian in, which everybody does. You throw comedians in. You don't vet them and go crazy. It's nobody's fault. But somebody said some bad things. Now, what they've done is taken somebody that has nothing to do with the party, has nothing to do with us, said something, and they try and make a big deal. But I don't know who it is. I don't even know who put them in. Uh, and I can't imagine it's a big deal. Donald Trump doesn't even know who Tony Hinchcliffe is. That I can certainly believe. And he points out the obvious fact that, yeah, that might have been said by somebody else. But hey, guess what? Donald Trump never said that. And this idea that Donald Trump somehow doesn't like Puerto Ricans, again, is utterly ridiculous. Here's what Donald Trump actually believes about the island of Puerto Rico. Not based off a joke made by a comedian during one of his rallies, but, you know, from the man himself. We just got back 
from Puerto Rico together. And it was, uh, it was really quite a sight. We're doing a great job there. And they are great, great people. They are great people. They've been through a lot. Thank you. We are also praying for the people of Puerto Rico. We love Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. And we also love Puerto Rico. <laughs> and we're marshaling every federal resource at our disposal. Earlier this week, I traveled to Puerto Rico to oversee federal response to the two devastating hurricanes. Remember, it was two. It was one, and then it was another. And that second one was brutal. And they struck that great and beautiful island. And we now have more than 15,000 federal personnel on the island. 15,000. We will not rest until that job is done. Puerto Rico has a long road of recovery ahead, very long road. But we know that its people are proud, and they are resilient, and they will come back strong. It's a very special place. Yeah, not exactly falling in line with what the mainstream media is telling us now, is it? Honestly, this pathetic, desperate attempt at whipping up outrage from the Democrats has got to be one of the most pathetic of all. I don't think I've ever seen anything so incredibly desperate as this. And I certainly don't think it's having the widespread effect that the left is pretending it is. I think for the most part, people probably agree with J.D. Vance on this one. Now, I, I didn't, I, I've heard about the joke. I haven't actually seen the joke that you mentioned, but I think that it's telling that Kamala Harris's closing message is essentially that all of Donald Trump's voters are Nazis and you should get really pissed off about a comedian telling a joke. That is not the message of a winning campaign. And most importantly, it's not the message of a person who's fit to be the president of the United States of America. I... And my own view on this is, look, again, I haven't seen the joke. I, I you know, Maybe, maybe it's a stupid racist joke, as you said. Maybe it's not. I haven't seen it. I'm not going to comment on the specifics of the joke. But I think that we have to stop getting so offended at every little thing in the United States of America. I'm just, I'm so over it. Of this comedian, George Lopez, who had made a, a, a joke at a Kamala Harris rally. And he basically, like, the point was, he, he was trying to make a joke. It was against Mexicans. And I forget the exact context. But if you wanted to look at it a particular way, you could say that was a racist joke. And this person, in fact, was encouraging me to sort of, you know, blow this up and make this about how Kamala Harris doesn't respect Latinos. And my response was, can we all just take a chill pill and take a joke from time to time? This is ridiculous. Our country was built by frontiersmen who conquered the wilderness. We're not gonna restore the greatness of American civilization if we get offended at every little thing. Let's have a sense of humor and let's have a little fun. I think most people are asking, why is this news? Why do we care? Why are we dissecting a joke? Or why are we exaggerating the significance of this joke? Or pretending as if the statement wasn't made in jest to poke fun? I think most people view this as a clear distraction, as desperate flailing from a campaign that is in clear and obvious freefall. And well, based on the earlier clip that I played you guys, it seems like the Puerto Ricans themselves, at least the Puerto Rican Trump supporters, well, I don't think they care too much either. But anyways, what do I know? Maybe the Puerto Ricans are gonna shift and Pennsylvania will fall because of it. Maybe. But for some reason, I highly doubt it. I don't see who's willing to make a total ideological shift and now all of a sudden support communism over a stupid and frankly insignificant joke made during a rally. Anyways, that's pretty much what I got for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, friends, and I'll see you on the next one.